Happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath, my viewers and my subscribers. Happy Sabbath. Hope your day was blessed. You have a wonderful day. Happy Sabbath, Miss Bev Production. Okay, you know, long time I've get to sit and read for you because of this whole kitchen. I'm so busy. So I'm going to read Isaiah 24 from verses 1 to 6. Behold, the Lord maketh the hurt empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scatter abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with the, his masters, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, borrower, as with the taker, so of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utter, utterly empty and utterly spoiled, for the Lord had spoken this word. The earth mourned and faded away, the word languished and faded away. The hearty people of the hurt do languish. The hearth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, uh, the, the curse devour the hurt, and they that dwell therein are desolate, des desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the herd are burnt and few men left. That is the word of the Lord. Come over to Isaiah 25. O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou art done wonderful things. Thy counsels of whole are faithfulness and truth. For thou art made of a city, an heap, and of a defense, city, a room, a, a place of for stranger to be, no city, it shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nation shall fear thee. For thou art being a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress. A refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as the storm against the wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of stranger as a heap in a place in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. Amen. So I read Isaiah 24, 1 to 6, and Isaiah 25, 1 to 5. Yes. So I leave these few word with, words with you. So because, as you can see, now, in the days that we are living in, all that I read in Isaiah 24, 1 to 6, and Isaiah 25, 1 to 5, it is happening Men are dying like nothing. The hurt is desolate. Many places, water come and wash away houses, left it desolate. That is true. It is happening here in Jamaica and right around the world. Many houses collapse when heavy rain, the water beat down and tear down the river bank and houses collapse and all kind of things where people used to live no more. They can't live there anymore. Water come and take over the land. All of that is happening. All kind of tribulation are happening in our world because many of us don't believe in God and many of us who said we believe in God turn our backs and think that we should do like looking after the needy ones, feeding the hungry, doing what God asks us to do. We neglect it. Many of us have money piling, piling, piling in the bank. Millions upon millions. We don't even have use for it. While our brother and our sister live outside. They are homeless. Homeless. Have nowhere to live. But on the street side. In abandoned building. In whole cars. God blessed those who 
have and some who are giving or helping is not they are not that they are rich but because they have a kind heart like miss beth production and many others not rich but have a kind heart and willing to share what they have with others who they know don't have who they know really really needed something not want because if you want you can say with your want but when you are in need of something badly need of it god blessed miss Beth production and many others and to all those who have fund um or um putting funds in our for the fun for the soup kitchen god bless you all because you see i sent many of them faces and you see the condition they are living in and you see how they are happy to get their meal as they get it they want to eat because they are hungry god bless you miss Beth, and god bless all who have been funding towards this wonderful soup kitchen remember to like my video and share my video and those who have subscribed to Beth Brown channels please do so just food for thought food for thought the bible yeah so the bible instructs all of us how we should live what we should do what we shouldn't do or we should care for others we can't love god and our brother and sister they are dying for hunger god said how can you love me what you don't see and hate those around you so we have to love god love our fellow men love our enemy do good to others yeah man bev brown said that peace out